Okay, welcome to this little tutorial on how to calculate the period payment for a loan or a mortgage. Now we're not going to go into the theory, we're just going to start off straight away with the formula that you're going to need to be able to use. So I'm just going to write this out here. So the formula you're going to need is equal to this, the period payment, whatever it is, the payment per week, the payment per month or per quarter is given by the capital amount that you actually borrowed. So that's the capital. You're going to multiply that by what's called the period equivalent rate. We'll come back to that in a second. And then we're going to take all of that and multiply it by one plus the period equivalent rate. Okay. All of that raised to the N, which is going to be the number of periods that are loan is active for and we divide that by 1 plus the period equivalent rate to the n minus 1. Okay, looks a bit formidable but we're going to break it down into little pieces now and see how all of that fits together. Just put a little cross on my t there and dot my i's as well, why not? Okay, so Let's just think about a loan. So someone wants to borrow some money. Say that sum of money is 10,000 euros and they've been offered a rate equivalent to 7.5%, quite high in the current circumstances. And they've been given a period of 36 months to repay. The most important thing to realize is that these rates are usually given annually. So our first task will be to try and work out what the equivalent rate is going to be if we're going to pay it back in months. Okay, so remember that the percentage can be written in this way. 1.075 is exactly the same as a 7.5% interest rate. Okay, and the capital is this number here, that's the capital. So here we have uh, a problem where we have got the annual rate, but we're going to be paying back over months. So we need to calculate the period equivalent rate in months for this annual rate that we have here. Then we've done that. We can just put all the numbers into a calculator and get the answer out. So 1.075 is the annual rate. And what we want to do then is to work out what this rate would be on a monthly basis. So what we have to do is take the geometric mean of this number. And the geometric mean requires that you take the root of this number and the root that you take is equal to the number of periods in this one here. So for given an annual rate and paying monthly, you'd use 12 months in a year to actually work out what you were doing. If you put this into the calculator of your choice or work out uh, by any method that you prefer, the answer that you get for that is 1.0064492. Now that's a lot of decimal places and the reason I do that is it's going to help with the accuracy later on. Remember you shouldn't really be rounding numbers until you get to the very end. Okay, next step then. Let's just take this um, information and put it into the formula that we created earlier on. Okay, so remember the formula is this thing up here, period payment, all of this stuff here. So our period payment then, I'm just gonna call it PP for short, is equal to the capital that we want to borrow, 10,000, that's this number here, multiplied by the PER, the period equivalent rate, so that's going to be a figure of what? Well, 
The equivalent rate in this case is 0 0.0060442. Okay, so that's the effective rate that you're going to multiply things by each month. And it's just this number here with the one knocked off the front. We take those numbers there and we multiply them by the rest of it. 1 plus 0 0.0060442, okay, which we then raise to the power of 36, because that's the number of periods, that's this N here is 36, the number of periods, 36 months to pay. Just make that clear there, that that N refers to that. We're going to divide that by the same thing, 1.00660442 to the power of 36. And we'll subtract the one at the very end. When you put that into the calculator of choice, then what comes out is that the period payment in this case is equal to 309.93 euros per month. So you would have to pay that sum of money 36 times a month until you'd paid the debt down. So let's just see how that actually works in terms of um, what the amount of interest would be each month, because it's important to see this part. So that's the first part done. That's 309.93, that's the period payment. And all we did was to take the information we were given, break it down, and then put it into the formula that you're given. There's no need to memorize that. That's actually in your formula book. Next thing then, let's just print up the first part of a schedule, if you like, a loan schedule. So we're going to work out, first of all, the amount of monthly interest for the first two periods, period one, period two. So those are the month one and month two, if you like. The amount of actual interest paid during the first month is the opening balance, okay, multiplied by the period interest rate. which is 60.4492 euros. Now that money is added on to what you owe before they subtract whatever your monthly payment is going to be. Okay, so what you've got now is 10,062.4492 four four nine two from which you subtract the repayment that you're making okay and that's in two decimal places because you can't make payments to a hundredth of a euro okay uh, that gives us a remaining total of nine thousand seven hundred and fifty point five two if I'm right is that right? Five, two, yes, that looks about right. So this is the new balance. This is then taken down to the next month, nine, seven, five, zero, five, two. Okay, multiplied by the interest rate. So this is the amount of interest you now have to pay on this piece of money. And that comes, and as we'd expect, it's, it's less because the opening balance was less, nine, four, one one okay so that is how much interest they would add on so the next piece then is to say the that plus that take away the repayment okay is going to be what figure well when you do that nine seven five oh five two plus the interest minus the repayment which we've already calculated and that means that at the end of period two the new balance is nine four nine nine 
0.53. Total interest paid out so far, the 58.9411 there, and the 60 up there. And you could then continue the process for another 34 times. And when you've done that, you would end up with a final balance that was now equal to zero. And you'd be paying reducing amounts of interest for each month as you went. Okay, that's enough for this little uh, video. We'll do another one on a slightly different subject next. Take care.